The Clark Fork River flows for 330 miles through western Montana and carries the largest amount of water of any Montana river. On this day, we fish the upper section of the Clark Fork, which is considered as the first 28 miles below the confluence of Silver Bow and Warm Springs Creek. Here, there is a public parking and access area. There's also a lot of trout. A nearby fire made the sky dark and conditions dim, but it didn't dim our enthusiasm for this fine stream. Many years ago, the Clark Fork was basically lifeless due to mining pollution. After a massive cleanup effort, it's doing pretty well. Brown trout and cutthroats are the main trout here. Ah, gotcha! I told you. Ooh, it's a brown trout. I told you there's a fish in there. Brown trout on the woolly bugger. Do you like those woolly buggers? It's a nice brown trout. And there he goes. Back, back to that good looking spot, little eddy along the shoreline. Here I hook into a large fish, and as you can see, the real retaining ring on my spin fly rod slips off and my reel falls into the water. Something fell. My reel fell into the water. Holy, it's a big one. And I don't ever, it's like a second like thing to carry around. Holy, it's a big one. It's a huge one. I get, I get, I get in the net. I will, lure, lure. Holy cow, it's a big one. It's a real big one. Lure, lure out. This guy is big. He's real big. He's a monster. Honey, get up. Holy cow! He's big! He's real big! <laughs> I can't. Oh, no! No! Not again! When the cork handle contracts due to dry conditions, the real retaining rings move freely and that's not good. I devised a system of elastic bands that can be easily moved into position. Once in place, they stay in place. This patented invention allows me to quickly and securely convert from fly reels to spinning gear to adjust to any conditions I may encounter. That lost fish turned out to be a blessing in disguise. The Clark Fork flows and meanders for many miles. We too decided to meander and try to spot further downstream the next day. An overnight rain cleared out the smoke and we finally had some clear blue skies. Rehabilitated banks. Oh no. 
Is it really like that? The river here was larger than upstream and looked good, but we weren't getting any action, so we returned to our previous spot and hiked a couple miles downstream to try some new water. There he goes. Yes. Is that that? The Clark Fork has improved a lot from its sorry state years ago and will hopefully continue to improve.